if you are here today. Yeah! Are you ready to learn with me? If you are, give me two thumbs up. Good job! Today, we're going to learn about spring. 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 Do you want to try that with me? One hand up. We'll have our seed come out, just like this. Our seed come out and open up like a flower. And we'll do it two times for spring. my video on plants, you will remember that I did this for plants as well. The sign for plants and for spring is the same. Plant or spring. But the way we say it or use it in a sentence makes it either plant or spring. For example, I might say, wow, what a pretty plant, or I am so happy that it is spring. Good job. Thank you for practicing that with me. Do you know some words that come to mind when you think of spring? Hmm. I wonder what words go with spring. Can you think of any? Those are great ideas. Good job. There is bee, bunny, butterfly, chick, frog, blossom, cloud, Think of rain, rain, rain. When I think of spring, I also think of ducklings, lambs, because they're baby animals in spring. I think of robins and daffodils. I think of eggs and snails when I think of spring. I think of umbrellas. And puddles. I think of rainbows because they happen when it rains. I think of baby bird nests as too. I like spring because it's a time of year when all of nature begins to wake up after winter. Spring comes after winter. The leaves on the trees begin to grow. It becomes very rainy to help the plants grow. There's lots of puddles to splash in from the rain. Lots of flowers begin to grow out of the ground. There are baby animals that are beginning to be born. And there's lots of bird nests everywhere with little eggs inside and baby birds going chirp, 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 chirp. And that's why I love spring. Spring. Well, I think that you're ready to do some learning with me. So let's head on over and do our learning warm up. Are you ready to warm up? If you are, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Hands up high, touch the sky, wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in, 
ready to learn. Let's begin. Hello. Let's do some counting. Can you help me count my baby ducks? They're also called ducklings. Let's count ducklings together. Are you ready? If you are, give me two thumbs up. And we're going to get our pointer finger out. So we're going to make our fist first. One finger up for pointing. And we're going to point at the ducklings as we count. Ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four ducklings, five ducklings, six ducklings, seven ducklings, eight ducklings. Wow, there's so many, how cute. There are two more. Can you guess what number comes after eight? Good job. Nine ducklings. Ten ducklings. Good job. Ten ducklings up there. Wow, that is amazing. They're so cute. I love little baby ducks. They're my favorite. All right. Now, let's take a look at a diagram. And today we're going to learn about the parts, the body parts of a frog. There are lots of frogs in spring. Wow, look at all, look at this lovely frog. And look at all the different parts on it. It has an eye, a nose with two nostrils, it has a snout, it has a mouth, a mouth. It also has arms and legs. And on those arms and legs, there are toes. They have toes. Now what's cool is between the toes, they have webbing, which is skin between their toes to help them swim so they can pull the water easily like a paddle can help them swim. And that's something that's a little bit different from what we have, isn't it? They have webbing to help them swim all the time because they swim a lot. All right, that's great. Thank you so much for learning about frogs with me. Let's head on over to the art studio. We're going to draw a baby bird's nest. Yeah, little baby birds in a nest. And we're also going to write the word nest. Let's head on over and I'll see you in the art studio. All right, we're going to draw our baby bird's nest. Let's begin by writing the word nest. N -n nest. Nest begins with the letter N. N, N, nest, letter N sound. E, N, S. Next is E, and then I hear S, 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 N, S, T, T, T. Hmm, what makes a T, T, T sound? Yeah, it's a T. N, S, T, T, N, Nest. Nest. Let's draw a nest. Let's draw zigzag lines at the bottom in an oval shape. And in it, we're going to add lots of different lines to make all the different branch pieces and textures in a nest. From it, let's draw two lines up and a circle on the end. From that circle, we'll have two more lines up 
and then we'll connect it with the letter V between. Just like that. On the circle, we're gonna draw another circle for an I. And in that circle, we'll draw a smaller circle. And then we can color it in, leaving just that circle white. And then we're gonna add just a little tiny wing on the body for our baby bird. So cute, now we have a baby bird in our bird's nest. Let's color it in using our favorite colors. And just like that, our nest is done. Hello! Welcome to Craft Corner. We're going to be making a butterfly today with our toilet paper roll. All right, we're going to grab a nice butterfly color. What color does it have? I think I'm gonna do blue pink wings today. I'll do blue for the body, pink for the wings. You can pick whatever colors you like. Okay. okay. We're going to take our, brand, our blue or your body color and we're going to fold it in half. So we're going to take it the long way or the hot dog way. Fold it in half. And then when we open it, it'll have a nice crease down the center, which will make a perfect line. Let's cut down that line. One hand to cut and one hand to fold. I'm going to cut off, I'm gonna put one half away, so we have two halves, right? Two halves of our body color. Two halves together make a hole. But we only need one half, so I'm gonna put it in my scrap paper bin for later. I'm going to cut a piece off the end of my body color for my antennae later. And now, I can attach this to my toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna hold it up and line my toilet paper roll up here. I'm gonna take a piece of well, let's attach it so it's attached. And then we just gotta roll, roll, roll our toilet paper roll to make our butterfly's body. That's nice. Yay, wonderful. So cute. All right, we're gonna take that little piece, cut off, and we're gonna cut off two. Next we're going to do wings. So we're going to take our 
butterfly wing color. We're gonna fold it in half again, same as before. Because I wanna keep my extra paper. Fold it in half. And we're gonna cut it down the line, just like we did with the blue. And that way we will make two halves of pink out of our hole. In half, we made two halves, two equal parts of our paper. I'm going to use one half to make my wings. You can see it's the right size. So now I'm going to fold this one half. And we're going to, on the seam side, this part that's folded, the fold line, we're going to draw one wing shape. going to flap just like a butterfly. So pretty. But you know what? We need to give our butterfly some eyes. So let's draw some eyes on our butterfly. And a little mouth. And just like that, our little butterfly is done. artastickids.com or for teachers you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below and in the description of the video. See you next time!